Yo, what is good guys? I am back with yet another how-to and in this video I'm going to cover a trick slash switch. It's both really. It's the 180 bar flip from the switch put its steamroller position into the spinning steamroller position. So yeah, that's what we're going to learn today. Make sure to go down into the description below and click those links to follow me, 4pegs and Thunder. All their links are down in the description so yeah, go check them out and let's get started. So before learning this trick, it will help if you can do the switch for its max circle, switch for its steamroller, and spinning steamroller. At the very least, be able to do a regular footed spinning steamroller. So, spinning in this position. As that's the position that you're going to be switching into, you can learn everything before that during your learning process. I couldn't do a switch for its steamroller or the bar flip beforehand. Well, obviously I couldn't do the bar flip before learning it. Well, yeah, you take it step by step and eventually it comes together as a puzzle. So if you can't do the switch foot back circle or steamroller, that's where you're gonna get started. So start off by just getting onto your bike. If you go clockwise, then your left foot is gonna be on the front peg and your right foot is gonna be on the rear peg. You're gonna start off by going in a slight circle at an average speed, maybe two, three cranks. Not too fast, slower than you think you need to. Anything switch footed on the front wheel also has similar bar pressure and weight distribution to uh, switch footed rocket manual on the back wheel. So if you can do those before you're learning the bar flip, then that will help in just general being able to control the bike while switch footed. What is super important on the bar flip itself is the shoe position. So you might start off so you might as well start learning the trick with the same shoe position as the bar flip as then you won't have to relearn the trick with a different shoe position later down the road when you're you know ready to try the bar flip so the shoe position is going to be slightly outwards on the peg you're not going to be directly beside the fork your shoe is going to be kind of like half an inch to an inch off the peg if your shoe size is bigger then you're going to have to be a little bit further out just so your shoe can clear the fork when you're turning because when you're doing the trick you're going to be in a switch foot position you're going to flip the bars so your shoe needs to have the space to not hit into the fork when you're flipping the bars over because you'll just fall so personally for me i'm size nine and a half shoe i found that having the end of the peg the really like ball the cap of the peg at the ball of my foot like right under my uh, big toe is the perfect sweet spot for the peg and it just makes it easier i tried at the start having it closer so my foot wouldn't go around and then i tried it a little further out and it was too far out i kept falling so it's really about finding that sweet spot with your shoe position and the only way you'll do that is experiment try 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 and practice as with any in the flatland you just have to practice and figure it out so step one to a switch for the max circle. You're gonna go in a circle, I got a bit off topic, but you're gonna go in a circle, feet position correct, and you're going to push forward on the bars to lift up the back wheel and slightly kick up on the back peg just to get the frame up and swinging. You're going to use your free leg as a pendulum and a counterbalance to your frame swinging around. So if your frame is out there, your leg wants to be out there. When your frame is there, I find bringing your leg slightly in and then pumping it out behind you is the perfect uh, foot position for when you're trying to balance. It also helps to pump a little bit just as the frame swings around, just to get into a rolling momentum rather than a spinning momentum. Getting into your spin momentum is easier if you're first learning it as you're using the momentum instead of technique. If you're just starting, then learn it spinning, but it will help if you learn how to pump out the spinning momentum and just go into rolling, kind of still in a circle, but definitely not straight. The easiest way to learn this is just simply switching back to regular foot, whichever way you want to do that, and riding out of it, I don't know, swinging your frame around or riding out of it through a fork glide or doing whatever you want. Okay, step number two to the bar flip, steamroller. So, you know the seam roller, regular footed. It's this position. So what you're going to do is just go switch footed and you're going to switch hands. So your right hand, if you're going clockwise, your right hand is going to be on the inside grip and your left hand is going to be on the seat. At this point, it will help if you pump a little bit when you're kicking the frame around and get into roll momentum. Woo! 
as it's a steamroller which you're trying to turn into a different trick and a different position you want to have as much control over it as you can so get rolling it learn how to pump get comfortable in the steamroller position just rolling it get comfortable in getting in and out of the steamroller position just switching your hand from the bar to the seat as for some of you it might be the first time you're using your left hand for the steamroller so make sure you're really comfortable doing that before you try to do the bar flip and be patient just practice until you get it so step number three pumping i've talked a little bit about pumping and why it helps to do the bar flip so how do you pump you're going to use the foot pressure on your peg and your free leg to go out and in to bring the momentum out and in so it definitely helps if you can pump in other tricks as pumping is a technique that's very similar no matter what trick you're in so maybe learn how to pump in an easier trick and then using that technique bring it over into the steamroller or the max circle but in the steamroller position it's going to be foot pressure on the peg slightly pushing down while at the same time doing a sway in motion with your bars just like you pump on two wheels by doing a slight sway in motion you're going to do the same on the one wheel just not as exaggerated because it's just the one wheel so it doesn't need as much energy to turn it into momentum and the next thing is you're going to use your free leg to bring it out and in so it's going to be using the same principle as most flatland tricks any spinning trick or any one footed rolling trick you're going to be using your one foot your free foot to pump out and in and that's going to create momentum using that energy to go out and in to bring momentum into that front wheel and turn energy into speed and that's based on the physics principle of conservation of angular rotation so it's not just something that i'm saying it's good science the more you practice pumping in any trick the easier it'll feel the first time you try it it probably feels really weird and really odd but just keep practicing and you'll get more comfortable and more confident at pumping in any position not just this trick but any trick that requires pumping requires you to build speed just keep practicing and you'll get better so step number four put it all together So kick, let the frame swing around, pump a little to gain control, grab the seat and get ready. How to do the bar flip then? Again, your foot position is probably the most important thing in this, one of the two most important things. So make sure that your foot is slightly on the outside of the peg to have the space when you turn your foot and spin your foot around on the frame that you can just miss the forks and still be on the peg. You're not going to get knocked off by hitting into the fork. It will also help if you can already pivot in any other trick if you already know the principle of pivoting and you already know the feeling um, because it is a feeling like no other so you do have to practice it to get better at it like I said previously with any technique so it's all technique and bringing me to the next step the technique of the bar flip so you're not going to just force your way into it you're not going to just you know flip the bars around that might work for landing your first hop bar just bunny hopping and throwing your bars and hoping for the best but for a bar flip it really requires control and requires you to stay on the bike and you know you're going into a different trick straight away so you need to continue that momentum and you know then get into the spin or start pumping to create more speed so the second most important thing about this trick is you're going to pull the seat up first and then use your other hand to flip the bars around so you're not going to do it all in one motion it's going to be seat bars okay so obviously it's going to happen pretty fast but not as fast as you think and you do need to stay in control of the bike you can't just you know let it go and hope you land on it so yeah when you feel like you're getting into the position where you're ready to flip the bars Make sure you pull the seat towards you first and don't just pull it towards you pull it around in a circle to make sure that while you're changing the position of the bike you're not falling out of your balance point and then pull the bar same way around in a round motion half semicircle so then you end up in this position which is the spinning steamroller position and you know what to do from there because you can already do this trick i hope and if you can't i'll leave a how to for the spinning steamroller down in the description Woo! 
So yeah, ride in, slightly pump, grab the seat, and when you're going to go into kind of the same position as you would for a turbine, you're going to feel yourself going into a tighter circle, just like on the back wheel doing a regular footed back wheel turbine, or any other trick that requires you to, you know, concentrate your momentum and then explode it to end up in a trick or a position. So you're going to go into that carve where you're concentrating all your momentum at that point and you can kind of pause and do a flip trick because that's kind of what it is, it's a bar flip. So yeah, right in, kick, kick the frame around, pump a little bit to gain control of the momentum and the rolling position of your bike, grab the seat, get into the steamroller and pull on the seat when you're ready and flip the bars with your other hand. In the spin and steamroller position, you'll probably be a little on the outside of the peg. So you might find that it's easier to just hop down onto the forks and continue to spin and steamroller and do whatever you want out of it. And of course, stay on the peg. It's no good if you're going to fall off the peg and not stay on the bike because then that switch isn't really working. So you need to kind of flex your foot. I found that kind of pointing my toes down and making sure my foot is solid, not just kind of like, not absorbing the peg, but pushing against the peg, helps to do the pivot and end up in the position that you need to end up in. So tips, momentum and timing is everything with this trick. Again, make sure that you bring the seat around first and then bring the bars around. Make sure that you flex your foot to stay on the peg. In the steamroller position, make sure that when you're going tighter, you concentrate all your momentum and then do the flip. Stay patient, as with any trick. You need patience, you need to practice it. The more effort you put in, the faster you'll get it. Go a little slower than you think you need to. I found that going faster while helping you gather more momentum to flip the bars makes you go out of control more. So if you learn how to control the bike better, that will help with you know doing it more and doing more combos with this trick. And finally, commit. As with any trick, just commit, believe you can do it, and you'll get it. And ride out however you want. And that's pretty much it for the bar flip. I don't know what else I could say about this trick. You really do have to go out there, practice it, and figure it out yourself. You have to understand how it's done. But I hope that the tips I gave you today and you know, the little things like saying your foot position right, the timing of the seat and bars. I hope that will help you to pull this trick and get into your arsenal. And I want to give a shout out to my friends Bruno and Miso because they were the ones who uh, inspired me to learn this trick. And Bruno actually made a little how-to video for Miso and Miso showed me the video. So I just thought I would return the, you know, positivity and the, gratitude and bring it over to you guys so yeah i hope if you've been wanting to learn this trick then this video helps you make sure to follow four pegs make sure to follow thunder and make sure to follow me all links are down in the description any how to's that i mentioned in this video will be down in the description as well and yeah have a beautiful day stay awesome stay healthy keep riding and see you in the next one peace yeah they can't hold us back we on another level yeah, it's that new age, ain't it something special? Yeah, we gon' change the game, we gon' live forever. Yeah, it's that new age, it's that new age. This is the new age. Now they wanna play, cause they're tryna get paid, but they can't, cause they're too late. We got stacks already making it rain. They can't afford us now. Jump on their jet, switching borders now.